Hey guys, Rackets for you here. It is uh, uh, October October 20th. It's a little chilly uh, here in the south. Anyway, we're not going to talk about racquetball tonight. So why am I wearing the headgear, right? It's because it's my M.O. It's my costume, if you will. And that's just me. This is Rackets for you my sweat band. Well, we're going to talk tonight about um, uh, home, uh, whole house water filtration. You know, your health, the water, okay? I'm on city water, and I have a, uh, uh, a two canister um, like this, two of them, uh, for my whole house. And one is a sediment filter, and the other one is a uh, charcoal filter and I'll tell you about this I don't recommend these clear ones for under your house because this one's broken as you can see so I got a little flooding in the past few years so this is good for under your sink but uh, and to see you know for some reason I don't know it broke so you want to get a colored one but anyway let's start with uh, uh, sediment filters and that gets out the rust and the dirt and the sand and the grit and I'm gonna go from in my opinion this is my opinion from worst to best but the bottom line is if you don't have anything that's bad even if you're on city water and I'm gonna do another video calling changing the whole house filter uh, and I'm gonna be ashamed because I haven't changed it in quite a while so I'll videotape that, but let me get on to this to show you from what I call the worst to the best in, in uh, sediment, okay? This is called Spunwound. Spunwound. This one is made by Omni Filter. That's why it's still in the package. I mean, it's still better than nothing. It wouldn't last too long. But that'll take out the sediments, and it's, it's spun wound. It's just, you know... To me, this is the worst, but it's still better than nothing. To me, this is the next to worst, which is uh, resin bonded cellulose reduces sediment, sand, scale, silt, rust, iron particles. Um, I bought this, and it's Sears, but you know they're okay they're they're better they won't last a whole lot longer but this is this is better than this okay for sediment all right then uh, up on the chain the two high ones for sediment as far as i'm concerned is this is a uh, polypropylene um and it's graduated it is 5 micron 5 micron so, and that's nominal, not absolute. Um, so it, it might might start out at 15 grams at the outer, and then on the inner core it'll go to uh, 5 microns. These are pretty good. I like these, okay? This one is called Pure Right. And uh, if it's a graduated uh, polypropylene filter, those are good. But what I do like is these pleated... Uh, th this is also polyester or polypropylene uh, pleated filters. All pleated filters are not the same. This is a premium one, is not 5 micron. The nice thing about this is that this is your first defense. It can be backwashed, okay, reusable. You can back flush this. And I'm going to show you in a video how I do that with this, this thing right here. You know, you backwash them after a while and reuse it, okay? I'll do a video on that, and I'll actually backwash one. Uh, but I do like these because they're reusable. These, I'm going to backwash one of these for you, too. I don't, I don't know how good it'll do, but we're going to find out anyway. So this is the pre-filter for your house. And that's not, you know, your sink. I would also have a, an extra... Um, thing like this with the the thing on there to for your drinking water but uh, by the way uh, okay let's go ahead and get to the uh, 
the second filter. I have two of those uh, on my house, my whole house. And I have a charcoal. Um, this is a cheapy. This is a cheapy. This is a made by Whirlpool. Uh, I think it's carbon wrap. It's just probably a sediment filter with a carbon wrap. I mean, this is as cheap as they come. They won't last long either, but it's still. The charcoal is good for taste and odor. Okay, it'll get rid of taste and odor, get rid of, uh, cuts down on um, chlorine. So, this is good for uh, taste, odor, and chlorine reduction. But what I really like, and I do have, maybe not that, but I do have, this is a carbon block. Carbon block. Um, here again, this is called GAC. This one has granulated active carbon in it, okay? And this one also have a, has something called KDF in it as well. Uh, so this, or but a carbon block, I mean, it gets all the chlorine out of there. So if you use one of these, which is good, uh, a pre-filter like this, a pre-filter, and then a carbon block, 5 micron, uh, uh, made out of coconut shell. Coconut shell, carbon block. Uh, that's the best setup. However, if you use carbon, uh, you'll have to clean your sinks and your toilets a little more because there's no chlorine in it, or very little. So uh, you need to get those tabs, those little clear tabs, to drop in the tank of your toilets to uh, the, the chlorine. So you'll have that so you don't get uh, a bunch of junk built up in there anyway. But the carbon block, that's the best thing. And either either this polypropylene uh, multi-layer uh, sediment filter or the recleanable polypropylene uh, pleated. This is the best to me because you can reclean this this one, I don't know, but carbon block is the way to go, or you can use a, a GAC, a GAC, and a KDF. Uh, GAC is granulated active carbon, and this is not uh, a block. You can hear it, it's, it's uh, active, activated carbon, which is still good, but you can use this. That's good, too. So. Anyway, the next uh, video on water I'm going to do is uh, replacing a whole house filter. So I'll show you how that goes. Thanks for watching. I'll be back.